As we left Gori, we ran straight into them. A column of armored vehicles carrying men of Russia's 42nd Motorized Infantry Division. They are normally stationed in rebellious Chechnya, and they are some of the toughest and most ruthless soldiers in the Russian army. After days of rumors and false reports, finally we've found Russian troops on the outskirts of the town of Gori. When I asked them why they were here, they simply said, we are under orders. And what their mission is, is really not clear. One of the men told me that they had come to bring peace to Georgia. But their advance was in apparent defiance of yesterday's peace agreement, which calls on both sides to pull back their troops to the positions they held before the fighting began. As they moved into the outskirts of Gori, they met absolutely no resistance. But nearby, a Georgian woman broke down in tears. This armored column soon moved out of Gori and took up positions on the hillside above the town. Other Russian troops are said to have set fire to the remains of a Georgian army base. The objective of this brazen advance seems to be to put even greater pressure on Georgia to submit fully to Russia's demands. And today, Georgia's president, the man Russia wants to remove, was clearly feeling the heat. A few police checkpoints are all that now stand between the Russian army and the Georgian capital. And tonight, Georgia and its president are effectively defenseless. Julian Mannion, ITV News in Gorin.